Welcome back to Data Every Day. Today we'll be looking at a data set of university attributes and trying to predict their world ranking. So let's get right into it. We'll load up our data with the pandas read CSV file. This is the CSV we're going to use. It's a, um, a ranking system. I think they have a, a bunch of different ranking systems, but we're going to use this CWUR data CSV. So we'll get our uh, usual libraries here. And uh, before I do any more, let's just check out what the data looks like. Oops. All right, so we can see we have 14 columns. World rank is going to be what we're trying to predict. So the rest of them is going to be our feature data. And you can see it's going to be some amount of uh, pre-processing we have to do on this data. So uh, I think for pre-processing we should use a label encoder. For example, the country. We're going to want to encode that as numerical labels. So from sklearn.preprocessing, import label encoder. And we're going to want to scale the data as well, because they take on very different values. For example, the uh, right the the national rank, the highest value we can see here is 83, but over here this goes up to 900. So let's bring it down to the same range with sklearn.preprocessing. Oh. Wow, uh, <laughs> standard scaler. This will uh, scale all the values to have unit variance. Then uh, we'll just need a few more utilities. Actually, just this one, I think. Today will be a more of a simple episode. Uh, just the train test split. All right. And I guess we'll we'll have to use linear regression here, since we're trying to predict the world rank. Uh, that will be a regression problem. So uh, from sklearn.linear model, import linear regression. Okay. All right, let's get started on pre-processing the data. So, um, first of all, we notice this this column here is not helpful. The institution provides um, no information about how how well the college is ranked. So we can just go ahead and drop that data dot drop institution axis column axis and in place. Okay, take another look. Now it's gone. Good. What else don't we need? Year looks like it's not going to give us any useful information. So let's go ahead and drop the year as well. Okay, anything else? Let's see. National rank, quality of education, alumni employment, quality of faculty, publications, influence, citations, broad impact, patents, score. These look like good um, columns, but we can see that broad impact has uh, a lot of uh, null values in it. So we could, uh, a number of things we could do here. We could change the null values to be zero. We could drop the columns with null values, or we could just drop, I mean the rows with null values, or we could just drop the column altogether. And I think we'll try dropping the column altogether. Uh, if it may, I, you know, I'm not sure how much of a of a predictor this is. It looks like we have some very quality predictors here, like a national rank. I'm sure has a great influence on world rank. So let's just get rid of that. Oh, and we can check uh, before we do that. Actually, data dot is null, and uh, will give us a um, give us a data frame with the truth values of whether or not um, each value is null. And if we sum that with the numpy.sum, we can get the number of null values in each column. So if, as we see, the only one with null values is broad impact. So it will be fine to just drop that column, I think. So here we go, drop broad impact. Now we have this. Last thing to do is just encode this country uh, into numerical labels, and then we can start uh, splitting 
our y and x apart. So if, yeah, if we look at this again now, not no more null values, we're good to go. Uh, here, I'll just keep that. Okay, so we're going to use the label encoder that we imported. And uh, we're going to fit it to the column that we want to encode, which is the country column. So um, encoder dot fit transform data sub country. Okay, and now uh, this guy we're going to feed back into data sub country. So now we're going to re uh, rewrite the column as the um, encoded version. However, we, however, we still want a way to uh, match the numeric values to their corresponding labels. So the encoder, if we check, if I run, uh, in actually encoder has an attribute called classes. And uh, this is basically a list in order of, um, of all the classes that it that it found. So it's, it's going to go through here, find all the unique values, assign them a numerical label, and then make a list called classes that uh, puts them in order of the, the labels it chose. So if we enumerate it, we can get uh, an index label pair for um, each class that it, that it chose. So we can create a dictionary, we'll call it uh, country mappings. It will be a new dictionary of index to label for every index and label pair in this enumerate. All right, like that. Okay. So now if we look at country mappings, we can see what each country has been mapped to as a number. And so that really helps us. Uh, just delete that. Check it now. We can see country has been changed to a number, which is very useful. And it looks like we're ready to scale this. So first we'll take our y, our y column, the world rank column, off the data set, and then we'll scale the rest. So uh, here, I'll just put this here for the notebook. And then, um, Okay, so Y is going to be the world rank column, and X will be everything except the world rank column. Now we look at that. Y is just world rank. X is everything except world rank. Okay, now we can scale X. So um, we're going to want to rewrite x as, uh, well, first we need to make a scalar. Scalar is equal to the standard scalar that we imported before. And we're going to fit it to x, and we're going to transform x back into um, the scaled version. So this right here actually is going to return us a NumPy array. So let's just turn it back into a pandas data frame so we can visualize the data a little better and keep the columns as they were. The columns equals x dot columns. Now if we take a look at x after that, it should be the same as before but now everything is scaled to have univariance. So that's great. I think we're ready to feed it into our model. So um, here, what we can do is create train test split. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep x there. Uh, x train, x test, y train, y test, train test split, and we'll give it x, y, and a train size of 80%. I think that's good since we have a decent number of examples. Okay. Um, that should be enough. Okay, now we can feed it right in. So we'll make a model. It will be linear regression, and we're going to fit it 
to our X train, Y train. All right, all good. And let's just see how it performed. So print F string here, uh, accuracy. Say model accuracy is uh, model dot score. We're going to evaluate it here on the X test, Y test. All right, and we got an accuracy of 92%. So that's pretty good. Uh, I think a lot of these columns were very indicative of the world rank, but um, you know that's that's pretty pretty decent. And this isn't uh, well, it's not exactly accuracy. This is actually the uh, the R squared value, which gives us a good sense of the data. All right. Thanks a lot for watching today's episode. I, if you liked it, make sure to uh, leave a comment below and subscribe for more future content. I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow on tomorrow's episode.